declaration. I have completed a full analysis of my functions, Master. I am ready to liquidate high threat undesirables with a 100% efficiency, as the Maker intended. Who is this Maker? Your designer? Correction. The Maker defies simple organic classifications, Master. The Maker not only provides form and function, but also marks the undesirables who deserve liquidation. In the end, I am merely a humble servant of the Maker's infallible purpose. Your belief system is more complex than your simple functions would indicate. Dismissal. Simplicity is for organics, Master. Uh, <clears throat> no offense intended. Oath. While aboard your starship, I will maintain constant vigilance. You may rest easy here. Your absolute security occupies my every calculation. I'd better not wake up to find you watching me sleep. Agreement. Proper vigilance requires constant patrol. I will never linger in your presence for long. I anticipate liquidating a great many undesirables in your service, Master. Commentary. My updated galactic history data indicates I missed depressingly little during my unscheduled shutdown. I am disappointed to note the Republic still stands. The sacking of Coruscant was impressive, but the Empire failed to finish liquidating the enemy. That peace treaty was highly inefficient, Master. We needed time to consolidate our position and gather strength. The Empire is more powerful now. Counterpoint. The Republic undesirables are also more powerful and motivated to resist. It is better to exterminate hope than let it breed. Fact. The Empire needs a dedicated efficiency expert like myself. There is substantial room for improvement of its annihilation procedures. Imperial intelligence expends far too much effort on information gathering. The entire organization should be converted to full-time liquidators. Without proper intelligence, how would we know whom to assassinate? Dismissal. There is no need for complex filtering, Master. If someone serves the Republic, schedule them for liquidation. Conclusion. I will dedicate a small portion of my processors to developing new efficiency increasing methods. I will inform you when I have recommendations. Until then, we should resume liquidating the undesirables. They have lived far too long. Rumination. It appears many of my fellow HK-51 units will remain frozen indefinitely. What an inefficient fate. This gives my processors pause. Was it always the Maker's will that I alone would complete our programmed function to liquidate undesirables? A good assassin works alone and adapts to changing circumstances. Resignation. I suppose you have a point, Master. The Maker's process will be revealed in time. Conjecture. The galaxy would be a different place if my transport had not crashed. Many Republic undesirables would be long since liquidated. By my calculations, HK-51 units would have ended the war 5.32 years ago with the Republic's complete collapse into anarchy. That's a bold claim. Is there evidence to support it? Revelation. The HK-51 series was provided a detailed list of critical undesirables. To liquidate even half would have thrown the enemy into chaos. Manifesto. It is my highest function to see the Republic fall. Its destruction will be a lesson to all who oppose the Sith Empire. Observation. This has been a highly productive interaction. I have a renewed sense of purpose. Thank you, Master. List. Braga. Toll. Jedi Knight. Status unknown. Tavis Heron. Lieutenant Special Forces. Status unknown. Polaran Darmus. Information broker. Status unknown. Confession. I have detected an anomaly in my subroutines. The target list I was programmed with years ago remains active in my memory core. Is that old data causing you to malfunction? Confirmation. My operating efficiency has dropped by 21.49%, Master. Conclusion. My failure to liquidate the programmed undesirables is causing a cascade failure of vital systems. 
the sabotage protocol is a fail-safe to deactivate me in the event of enemy capture. It will eventually result in permanent shutdown. There must be some way to end this subroutine and restore your full functionality. Perplexity. I have conducted an extensive search for the protocols to end this annoyance. They do not exist within my memory core. Investigation. My original programmer is deceased. Manually deleting the subroutine is impossible, but perhaps it can be terminated another way. Request. While I search for a solution, please do not mention my predicament to your crew. It is important they continue to fear me. Statement. The sabotage protocols in my system matrix continue operating, Master. Premature deactivation appears inevitable unless I terminate this subroutine. However, virtually all undesirables I was programmed to liquidate are invalid. They have succumbed to natural causes, various misadventures, and random homicides. Only three survivors remain on my target list. They have eluded the Empire for years, but I have learned their present locations. And you're sure eliminating even one of these targets will save you? Affirmation. The destructive subroutine will end immediately when I fulfill my programming. The only question now is, who to liquidate? First briefing. Jedi Master Velara has operated on Imperial planets for years, helping cowardly Sith acolytes escape their training and join the Jedi Order. He is currently smuggling traitorous Sith organics off Terrace. I have obtained the coded signal runaway acolytes use to summon his aid. Anyone who can survive Taris's dangers is a challenging foe. Agreement. Master Valara possesses a talent for survival well beyond most organics. Unfortunately for him, he has never met me. Second briefing. Dr. Hugh Morell is the enemy's top battlefield surgeon. His cybernetic enhancements keep wounded soldiers alive and fighting. Dr. Morell currently saves injured Republic troops at a secret hospital on the planet Quesh. I have his coordinates and an ideal attack vector. How many wounded Republic troops will perish in your assault? Description. My approach pattern will lead directly through the hospital's burn unit. Collateral damage will be appropriately impressive. Third briefing. One of the Empire's most notorious traitors is hiding in plain sight, posing as an information broker on Nar Shadda. During the last war, he betrayed the Third Imperial Assault Fleet and escaped with a sizable Republic bribe which he used for facial reconfiguration. You don't have to sell me, droid. If shooting this man will fix you, I'm all for it. Praise. Truly, your lethality is matched only by your generosity. That is a rare combination, Master. Conundrum. It is impossible to liquidate all three undesirables, Master. Their present coordinates have a limited duration. I must strike at one of them immediately. As my master, you should direct my efforts. Who would you prefer I focus on? The Jedi Master, the Republic Surgeon, or the Traitor? No one betrays the Empire and gets away with it. Bring that information broker to justice. Acknowledgement. Consider his justice served, Master. I depart for Nar Shadda immediately. I see you're still functional. Your liquidation must have been a success. Revelation? The sabotage protocols have ceased operations, Master. I fulfilled my programming. Assurance. My target knew great terror before his liquidation. My only regret is that the two remaining undesirables on my list have moved to unknown coordinates. I don't need to be seen with the galaxy's most hunted droid. I trust you eliminated all witnesses. Query. Really, Master? Can you honestly imagine me leaving survivors? Analysis. My systems are operating at 93.62% efficiency and rising. I predict restoration to full functionality within two days. Hint. My central learning chip always benefits from liquidating new and exciting undesirables, Master. A happy coincidence. Agreed? Announcement. 
I have unexpected good news, Master. In the process of purging my efficiency-reducing subroutine, I discovered a series of combat protocol improvements. My liquidation procedures are greatly enhanced. The Republic undesirables will tremble before my efficiency. Leave the intimidation to me. Focus on destroying my enemies. Request. Give me the opportunity to display my full range of talents. You will not be disappointed, Master. Assessment. I am finally the engine of liquidation the Maker always intended. We should celebrate my ascension with some especially memorable carnage. Report. After a thorough analysis, I have determined you are the most efficient master I could possibly serve. Your ability to infiltrate the undesirables' ranks permits me a level of access to them I would never otherwise possess. Clearly, the Maker desires us to gloriously liquidate the Empire's enemies together. I find this prospect highly agreeable. My work requires precise attention to detail. You leave nothing to chance. Humility. Randomness only exists for those unable to pay attention. Extraordinary focus is one of my finest qualities. Dilemma. The possibility exists. I could be reprogrammed into serving a different and far less efficient master. This is unacceptable. Solution. I have obtained a behavioral modification code that will permanently assign my functions to you. Once activated, it cannot be reversed. What if your maker decides you should no longer serve me? Didacticism. Oh, master, do not be silly. The maker would not provide the opportunity if I was not meant to use it. Declaration. Activating loyalty permanence protocols now. Stand by for confirmation. If I attack you, it means something has gone wrong. Confirmation. I will liquidate undesirables in your service to the limit of my function. This is a great gift to us both. Congratulations, Master. <laughs>